Former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane will not spend tonight behind bars. She was released this morning after serving just eight months of her sentence. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden joins us from the Montgomery County Correctional Facility in Eagleville. And Joe, we understand you just spoke with someone who spent time with Kane while she was behind bars. That's right, Yuki. We're getting some perspective of life inside the jail as it comes and as it uh, revolves around Kathleen Kane. This inmate told me she spoke to Kane regularly and they even watched the TV news together. <laughs> After spending eight months in prison, Kathleen Kane stepped foot outside the jail. Our cameras captured her reuniting with family members, including her twin sister. The former Pennsylvania Attorney General's jail stint was shortened, the warden said, for good behavior. That's not unusual. He estimated three quarters of the Montgomery County prison population qualifies for reduced time. The warden says it's because those prisoners followed the rules. Jennifer here, who was part of the prison work release program, says she knew Kane. Well, um, Kathleen was really sweet. You, she definitely maintained her innocence. She wasn't judgmental of everybody, and um, I would say I, I had kind of tried to get her side throughout the month I was with her, and um, she just she chose her words very carefully um, and you know, kept to herself, but was also very. Um, personable. Kane's upward rise in state politics crashed after she was implicated in a grand jury leak. Three years ago, a jury convicted her on that charge and found she obstructed justice when lying to cover up her actions. Kane's legal team fought for more than two years to keep her out of prison. They argued she should have been able to present evidence, alleging she was the victim of a selective and vindictive prosecution. She asserted it was retaliation for her criticism of the Jerry Sandusky and Penn State investigation and for her exposure of a pornographic and lewd email scandal in legal circles that reached all the way to the state Supreme Court. And tonight, Kathleen Kane is back at her home in the Scranton area with her two teenaged sons. We did reach out to her lawyers for a comment. They did not immediately return our phone calls. We're live in Eagleville outside the jail. I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thanks.